Welcome to Amazing Life One Channel Guides Today you watching Deborah Kara Unger Canadian Actress Lifestyle Biography and Beautiful Photos I hope you enjoy this video like share subscribe channel thank you for watching video your favorite actress model singer celebrity biography photos images if you want to see please comment. Starting. Biography Deborah Kara Unger, born May 12, 1966, is a Canadian actress. She is known for her roles in the films Highlander 3, The Sorcerer, 1994, Crash, 1996, The Game, 1997, Payback, 1999, The Hurricane, 1999, White Noise, 2005, Silent Hill, 2006, 88 Minutes, 2008, and The Way, 2010. Early life Deborah Kara Unger was born in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada to a nuclear disposal specialist mother and a gynecologist father. She was the first Canadian to be accepted into Australia's National Institute of Dramatic Art. Career upon graduation, Unger found steady work in Australian films and television series, including Bangkok Hilton with Nicole Kidman. Following her return to North America in the early 1990s, she appeared in David Lynch's 1993 HBO miniseries Hotel Room, and a year later appeared in Highlander 3, The Sorcerer opposite Christopher Lambert. Unger's breakthrough role came in David Cronenberg's 1996 erotic drama Crash about a group of people who take sexual pleasure from car accidents, a notable form of paraphilia. Unger followed up her performance in Crash by starring with Michael Douglas in the psychological thriller The Game, directed by David Fincher. In 1998 she played Ava Gardner in HBO's The Rat Pack, and in 1999 she appeared in Payback with Mel Gibson, The Hurricane with Denzel Washington and the award-winning ensemble drama Sunshine, Unger has appeared in many independent films in the early 2000s, such as Signs and Wonders, Ten Tiny Love Stories, Fear X, 13, Stander, Hollywood North, Emile, Paranoia 1.0 and A Love Song for Bobby Long. She played a leading role opposite Sofia Loren and Mira Sorvino in the 2002 independent movie Between Strangers, about three women who confront their pasts which changes their futures, for which she was nominated on Genie Award for Best Performance by an Actress in a Leading Role from 2005 to 2010, Unger appeared in White Noise, Things That Hang From Trees, The Alibi, Silent Hill, 88 Minutes, Walled In, Messages Deleted and The Way. She also appeared in the music video for Jesus of Suburbia by American rock band Green Day. In 2011 she took a starring role in the television series Combat Hospital, and in 2012 reprised her role as Dahlia Gillespie in the horror film sequel Silent Hill, Revelation nickname not known gender female age 57 years old, in 2023, date of birth May 12, 1966 real name Deborah Kara Unger profession actress nationality Canadian birthplace Vancouver, Canada religion not known zodiac sign Taurus height, Weight and physical stats body measurements 35-25-35 inches body type hourglass height 5 feet 6 inches, 1.70. M, weight 55 kilograms, 121 pounds, hair color blonde eye color gray hobbies not known Deborah Kara Unger education qualification, graduate school, Oak Bay High School Australia's National Institute of Dramatic Art College, University of Victoria Deborah Kara Unger career profession, actress known for, Alex Johnson, Sarah Barrington debut Bangkok Hilton, 1989, net worth, 1 million US dollars approximate famous works credits film appearances Vicky Michael Stover, Keys to Tulsa, also known as Tornado, Gramercy, 1997 Christine. The Game, Polygram, 1997 Lynn Porter, Payback, also known as Parker, Paramount, 1998 Mom, Luminous Motion, Fiona Films, 1998 Yuri, 1999 Marion Kerr, The Weeknd, 1999 Major Carol Kovacs, Sunshine, also known as Anapthaniazian Sunshine Ein Hotch von Sonnenschein, 1999 Lisa Peters, The Hurricane, Universal, 1999 Colette, The Sultan Sea, Warner Brothers, 2000 Catherine, Signs and Wonders, 2 Malawi and Quatches Diffusion, 2000, Strand Releasing, 2001 Film Appearances as Deborah Unger Anna Vivaldi, Till There Was You, MCA Slash. Universal Home Video, 1990 Marion, Breakaway, also known as Escape from Madness, Alliance Releasing, 1990 Sister Carol Little, Blood Oath, also known as Prisoners of the Sun, Paramount Home Video, 1990 Eve Abergray, Whispers in the Dark, Paramount, 1992 Alex Johnson slash Sarah, Highlander 3, The Sorcerer, also known as Highlander, The Final Dimension, Highlander, The Magician, Highlander 3, and Highlander 3, The Final Conflict, Dimension Films, 1994 Catherine Ballard, Crash, Fine Line. 1996 Narrator, Crying Freeman, August Entertainment, 1996 Lorraine, No Way Home, also known as Back Alley and Gasoline Alley, Live Entertainment, 1997 Ten Tiny Love Stories, also known as Women Remember Men, Lionsgate Films Home Entertainment, 2001 Caroline, Leo, First Look Home Entertainment, 
2002 Brooke Lullane, 13, Fox Searchlight, 2003 Kate, Firex, 2003, Silver Nitrate Releasing, 2005 Sandy Ryan, Hollywood North, Franchise Pictures, 2003 Nadia, Emil, 2003, Castle Hill, 2005 Becky Stander. Stander, New Market Films, 2004 Trish, 1.0, also known as Paranoia 1.0, Think Film, 2004 Georgiana, A Love Song for Bobby Long, Lions Gate Films, 2004 Connie Mae Wheeler, Things That Hang From Trees, Avila Street Productions, 2005 Dorothy, The Alibi, Alibi Productions, 2005 Sarah Tate, White Noise, Universal, 2005 Dahlia Gillespie, Silent Hill, TriStar, 2006 Television Appearances Movies, as Deborah Unger, Sue Payton, State of Emergency, HBO, 1994 Ava Gardner, The Rat Pack, HBO, 1998 Catherine. Between Strangers, also known as Coors in Canoes and Quarry Estranii, Women's Entertainment Television, 2003 Episodic Catherine Ballard, in archive footage, per Derrera, Sexes, Television de Catalunya, 2005 Television Appearances as Deborah Unger Other Astra, Bangkok Hilton, Miniseries, TBS, 1990 Sasha, Getting Rid of Robert, also cited as Getting Rid of Robbie, Hotel Room, Series, also known as David Lynch's Hotel Room, HBO, 1993 X-Rated, Special, Channel 5, 2004 Arzo RDNGS videos appeared in The music video Jesus of Suburbia by Green Day Career of Deborah Kara Unger She began her career in the Australian entertainment sector not long after she received her diploma from the Institute. She made her acting debut in the miniseries Bangkok Hilton in 1989 alongside Nicole Kidman, who was still a rising star at the time. She made her cinematic debut with Till There Was You the following year. Her performance received favorable reviews despite the fact that the movie did not perform well at the box office. After appearing in a few more Australian movies and TV shows, she relocated to Hollywood in the early 1990s and began applying for more prestigious parts. She was cast in 1993's anthology drama series Hotel Room. David Lynch, a well known director, co created the drama, and Deborah was a major player in the second episode. She had a role in the low budget fantasy movie State of Emergency in 1994 and then she had a part in the high-budget fantasy movie Highlander 3, The Sorcerer. Deborah had just begun her acting career when the picture, a box office dud and critical disaster, was released. She was cast in the sexually explicit psychological thriller Crash by David Cronenberg in 1996. Deborah portrayed the main female character in the hotly contested movie, which earned mixed reviews from reviewers and viewers. She also had appearances in Keys to Tulsa and No Way Home that same year. She was recruited by renowned filmmaker David Fincher to take the lead in the 1997 thriller The Game, which has managed to amass a cult following since its premiere. She shared the screen with Michael Douglas and Sean Penn, two of Hollywood's finest actors. She then appeared in the independent film Luminous Motion, in which she played an anonymous mother. She was a part of the 1999 Hollywood blockbuster movie Payback. In the movie, she portrayed the important character of Lynn Porter, which was also Mel Gibson's. The movie ended up being among the most popular ones of the year. She had a pivotal role in the critically and commercially successful HBO series The Rat Pack in 1998. She made appearances in the Denzel Washington blockbuster The Hurricane and the acclaimed drama Sunshine in the late 1990 So far, it appeared that she was achieving the ideal mix between high budget Hollywood blockbusters and low budget documentaries with strong content. She tried out for several jobs at the time with actors like Tom Cruise and Brad Pitt, but they weren't very helpful. Her career drastically changed in the early 2000s when she began concentrating on low-budget indie flicks. She was a part of the psychological thriller Signs and Wonders, which was screened at numerous film festivals all over the world. She appeared in the independent anthology Ten Tiny Love Stories in 2001. She then appeared in Leo and Between Strangers. She won a lot of praise for her roles in movies including 13, Hollywood North, and Paranoia 1.0. She built a solid reputation for herself over time in the low-budget film industry. When questioned about her love of independent movies, she responded that since most global film industries do not promote new talent, she felt it rewarding to do so. For her work in the independent film Between Strangers in 2002, she received a Genie Award nomination for Best Performance by an Actress in a Leading Role. She won a Method Fest Prize in 2004 for her work in the highly regarded movie Emile. She proceeded to make appearances in critically praised movies including Things That Hang From Trees, Silent Hill, The Alibi, Walled In, and The Way From The Middle to the End of the 2000s. She had established herself by that point in the business.
She refused to follow the norms set by the industry and only accepted roles that emotionally affected her. She returned to Canada in 2011 to play the lead in the medical drama Combat Hospital and in Silent Hill, Revelation in 2012, she played a significant role, she starred in the movie Fury in the years that followed, and then she appeared in the television movies The Hollow and Dangerous Arrangement, she appeared in Jackals and the Nicolas Cage starring action film Vengeance, A Love. Story in 2017. Individual life of Deborah Kara Unger. Deborah Kara Unger has never made many details about her private life public. She is not married right now, she commutes regularly between Los Angeles and Vancouver for work even though she lives in Vancouver, her methodical behavior has gotten her into a lot of trouble. For instance, she is alleged to have broken her foot during the filming of the 1997 movie The Game after jumping into garbage full of rats estimated net worth money reputable domains are currently unaware of Deborah's income. Her lucrative job must, nevertheless, have given her great fortune, her estimated net worth as of 2023 is $2 million.